Hi Libras and welcome to July 2023. All right, happy summer. Let's get going. This read is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Okay, let's go. Death, rebirth, freedom, ascension, Scorpio. The physical body is not needed at time of rebirth. Not so much the physical body as so much the soul that remains. So we have a Scorpio offering up love and wanting, you're wanting a little more info or they do. They need, they need to be around more. I feel like this, if this is a masculine Scorpio you're dealing with, I feel like someone's not really 100% here. It's only like 40% in. Because they need to gather more information and or time. Right? We need more time. I know time is fluidly... A, an illusion. But really, how much time does one need? Like, I feel like when Spirit's handing you a gift, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this gift is a gift of renewal. This is not necessarily a person as so much as a gift of renewal, maybe with a person, but I feel it's just a renewal to, to bring you back to an emotional place of, of great happiness. You know, I feel that you guys have been waiting for like a payout and I'm not talking just financial. I'm talking just an overall emotional happiness. You just are in such need of some good stuff, right? We need, we need good things in our lives and, and it's, been, it's been a little rough, right? We're not gonna lie. We've had a lot of endings in our lives in order to see the the Holy Grail as sacred once again, and to understand that once we, we start seeing and receiving, things just change after so much time of that, the death, right? We are taking everything that we've learned and we're moving forward. We've learned a lot, haven't we? We've learned a lot about love and money and how the distinction of the two for the love of money or do we, or do we need to put love and money into a category of division or in any category whatsoever? Strike while the iron's hot. That's what I just heard. Someone is striking while the iron is hot. That means they don't want to let go. They want to enjoy a gift that has been given. The gift of love, the gift of gain. The, this doesn't just mean money. This means great happiness and learning as an individual Libra that we are learners of, you know, intellect, intellectual property. We have the intellectual property 
to, to go and invest in ourselves. We do invest in ourselves, even when others don't. That's a huge message. Yeah, we all worry. We, you know, worry is fruitless, literally and figuratively. That's what spirit says. So we, we take this high road of learning and we ask, we ask a father figure, we ask God to guide us. You're asking God to guide you and to protect you and to give you the, the gifts and, and help you to show you the way. Some of you have already asked spirit to show you the way because there's so much adversity here. With a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, it could be with a Scorpio right here. Okay? A Scorpio may has may have been coming back in and out of your life and it's just been like so um there are times when it's uplifting and then there are times when it's like a downer. And you're asking spirit for help, advice, moving forward with someone who's really, I mean, emotionally, are they available? Let's ask if they are in a minute. But it looks like someone needs to get more in tune with their spiritual path, right? You guys may be both looking for help here, right? Needing to really figure out whether someone is emotionally available. Because we do have the Four of Cups, which means in the past that has been rejected. In the past, someone has gotten extremely hurt. Looks like a Scorpio, right? Libra, a Scorpio's still in pain from past hurts or things said or not said, done or not done, right? The loyalty is there, but is the, is the cup of love that a Scorpio is holding here, is that enough to um, release one from the chains that bind, which is their mind, right? It's a mindset. It's, it's can I provide? It's, is it an issue of holding back? because I can or am not sure that I can provide. I hope you can see these. I need to make sure you see these cards because these are, this story here with the Scorpio is a, you know, a wounded warrior that hangs on to a lot of the past issues, right? Trying to get over it for sure. And there we have the father. The father says, let me help you, my child. I'm not sure if I should. We're going to stop with these cards. Look at the bottom and here you are. So it looks like what's fair and just? What is fair and just in this relationship that probably has really been tested right? Father time, literally through the years. I'm hearing that song through the years. I did hear it and that's why I said through the years. So we've had this relationship that's been, you know, that's been almost under construction, Spirit said. This relationship is under construction or has been. Are they a has-been? I don't know. Okay. 
let's get some insights to this situation. All right, we're not going to tell. Spirit says, I'm not going to tell you what the outcome is. You, Because you already know. There's no need to diminish what has been built upon for almost an eternity. And words do get in the way. <laughs> and then the tower heads. You see the face on the top of the tower? Under construction. For sure. Two people that are totally different. Libras and Scorpios. Different. Differently aged. Their yoke is different. But don't forget, love, sacred love remains. Love of the Father. We're, we, we want to ensure that we're investing in something that is worth investing in. It is an investment, especially if it's a life, it's a lifetime. Okay, let's get one more card here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There you go. That's what is going on here, they're saying. This is how the death, the con under construction, that's what Spirit's saying. This is under construction. Death and rebirth. So someone has been already or is going through the dark night of the soul, for sure, probably the Scorpio. because they've been hurt and they're holding on to some of that pain still. Let me get a card here for Scorpios holding on to the pain here. What is that? What's gonna happen? Okay, it could be um, also an Aries because we do have Aries here. So we could have a Scorpio sun with an Aries moon or rising. But we do have someone who knows they have to make a play. This is someone who's, are you kidding? I have, to, I have to do something. I have to do something. I have to empower myself to, to bring myself to a point of unwavering faith. Uh, the test of time is how much love can sustain a relationship. Without going into the depths of one's despair, of loss, of losses, and or of knowing that at one point, this, this Scorpio and or Leo Aries Sag, Sun, Moon and or Rising, used to be very authoritative, very, um, you know, on point, um, creative, have, you know, just knows how to empower themselves and others and then because of so many hits to their ego, it's the ego are the swords. And the pain of that has placed someone on a very, in a, put someone in a very precarious situation as well as in a painful relationship with you, Libra, whether or not they can, they can sustain. They're going through the dark night of the soul. 
and you're asking spirit to help you get through it. Like what's fair and just is all that you want from this relationship. So I don't know, what else does spirit wanna say? So if someone's really feeling extremely tied and bound to all those swords, they feel like they can't get out. They are self-sabotaging this relationship because of the pain. So do they want it or they don't? Right here. Do they want it or don't they? Let's go right to the, you know, I don't know if Spirit's going to answer it, but let's go. Look at that. Ten of Swords again. But it is reversed. They're both reversed. We're talking about... This is not reversed. This is. And Spirit just said that. Wait, hold on. This person is, this person needs to let go of this pain because that's the holdup. This person's in extreme pain and it could be not just because of a relationship that has been tried through the test of time but also could be someone lost someone very near and dear to them. It could be a father figure. It could be a spouse. It could be anything. And they aren't able to get over that that already happened. The death of maybe another Scorpio. Do you get what? Follow me, please. Because that's the holdup in terms of someone being able to give their heart or not. So, four of pentacles, spirit, what? Look at that. Great happiness. Commitment. They're able to do it. Spirit interjects and says, yes, this person, through the test of time, will deliver the goods. And then we end up with, hold on. I know, I'm sorry. I just have to move these so we can get everything here and then I can move these back so the answer to the question is yes this person will be able to find great happiness once again as you too have been seeking the same this could also be a the loss of a Scorpio father that, that has inflicted pain. So I feel that these two people, this, this love that remains, had to go through the trial and errors of the test of time because Libra, you had to learn how someone's differences don't make them any less appealing so that you can still love. That's what your heavenly father is. And your 3D father could very well be a Scorpio and or a Virgo or an Aries or a Leo. I'm serious, I'm not joking. I feel that actually it's a Scorpio for many and for others it's Aries on Aries or a Virgo. But you had to learn Libra lessons that when two people differ to such extremes that you need to allow people to go through their suffering as you have and the other like father both dealing with father issues but this implementation of the Scorpio learning about their wounds 
their wounds come from financial, our financial wounds, and very driven by the dollar because they grew up, they grew up worried about money and how they're gonna make money and provide for a family. And your father issues, hold on, your, the issues of you, and you can see you're both doing the same thing. You're learning from the father. Both fathers on each side of this, of this, I'm sorry, is, should be like this. Look at this, okay? This is the entire read. Your father teaching you about the differences and the qualities that make one special within and without. And they are learning the qualities of making themselves special within and without. You end up coming to meet one another at the horizon. The Father, our Father, our Heavenly Father is saying this had to happen in order, in order for you to understand the value of a man is not only their character, it is what lies within and not always what lies outside of us. It's about differences that make two people come together as one. This could definitely identify with Libra Moon. I do, I do vouch for this reading for sure, right? And things that, right? Emotional, emotional loss for, for both is huge because the Ten of Cups, or sorry, the Ten of Swords is both of you hurting and suffering. One has already cleared their, their um, mind. That could be you. Clearing your mind of all the past hurts and making sure that, you know, you want to, you want to move on in your life and you're not going to hold any grudges or resentments, right? And then the other is like just the death of the ego is here. But it's happening now. The death of one's ego is happening now, whereas yours has already taken place. How do I know that? Because here's the masculine. If you're a feminine, the feminine, okay? Wow. What a great, intense, a very intense reading for Libras. What a beautiful depiction of, you know, words do come, words do get in the way of how we feel and how we learn and how we believe and where we put our faith. Unwavering faith, faith in others, Libra. We thank, right? We thank God for these blessings for sure. Okay. I send you so much love and light and many blessings. Have a great month and I'm here if you need to talk about this. Take care.